Okay, so the situation is this. Yeah, you taking you taking you taking your your love life in your own hands, family. You're like I'm done sitting here doing this this, this stuff. Um, the world's coming up here. Okay, for some of you guys, this is asking you actually to make the actual move to take action because right now the situation you have the world coming up. This is a transition in your life or a transition from leaving one chapter in your life and and, and entering a new one. All right, and usually when the world comes up, your father Saturn here, this planet, your planet, as far as we you know, we know that's associated with you guys. He leaves gifts when the world comes up. This is his opportunity to say that, you know, good job, excellent work, keep going. <laughs> Pretty much like, you know, it's almost like he gives you an A and then he gives you your next assignment. So this is, you know, but like it's better than an A. He gives you an A and then whatever that prize was with, with that A that he said he would get you, if you got an A, you get that too, but then he gives you your next assignment anyway, right? So this is that, this is the situation, but the thing that's keeping you from doing that is that you have something you want, you have something that's, it's, you know, eternal and it's time for it to come out it's time for it to be said the king of cups is very good at compute at, at you know channeling his emotions and keeping it kind of to himself but i feel like with the king of cups the king of cups here um the king of cups is not keeping things to himself I think at one point he had to digest and understand his own emotions, and I feel like at this moment in time, he's he's going to express that now. He knows exactly what it is that he's feeling, he's aware of what he wants, he's going to make it known. Now, in the past, you had the two of wands, so there were some decisions that you had to make in regards to what direction you were going to take. Okay? Definitely that. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it, you know, it was an inspiring decision. It wasn't like a, oh shit, which way? You know, it was more of like, all right, cool. So this is this is the options I've got. Uh, which one am I gonna take? And I think you guys definitely decided on one path that you need to take to be to to at least get to where you want to be. Now the nine of wands is interesting here because nine of wands can indicate that you're traveling. Um, can indicate that you have because you have the world here and then and the nine of wands and he's known for travel. But I think that that the nine of wands is more of like feeling that passion energy going for what it is that you want making whatever your choice was happen right just living it living it living it but then you have another decision that you have to make that has a lot to do with you know with what with, with value with, with what's you know something something regarding commitment here now for some of you guys i think the decision here had a lot to do with commitment okay believe it or not i think there was a lot of changes regarding commitment here now for some of you guys i have a feeling that for a lot of you you had made a decision on something you took a path and at first you kind of felt like you were a little naive and under experienced with it because of the knight of wands here because how you look at the underlying energies king of king of king of wands now listen ladies and gentlemen just because kings come up in here does not mean that i'm talking about it being general like being a, a, a male or female it's totally general if you have to apply the energy to whatever it applies to in your reading it's not a gen it's not personal um so which i do get specific in my personal reads but just for the sake of everybody to try and be like oh well i don't have any kings in my life no don't worry about that if there's if you got a woman in here she's coming up in here too she just may be in, as a she may be coming up as a king in this reading but the knight of wands coming up here is definitely opposive opposing that higher fan energy these two do not rock together all right king the knight of wands don't conform to jack squat but the higher fan expects that higher fan is all about that you know that whole committing kind of energy the the structure the routine the conformity and i feel like for a lot of you guys you guys were trying to understand where you guys stood regarding relationships um the kind of this to me it's weird that i'm getting that but I feel like that's for some of you guys, not for all of you, and for a lot of other, for a lot of a lot of you guys too. I feel like you guys may have been trying to stay single, trying to keep it, you know, you know, bachelor, bachelorette only, you know, just not even trying to consider a relationship. But 
I feel like there's something that always keeps driving you back to love, that keeps driving you back to a relationship, whether it's a reminder of someone that you love, whether it's a, you know, the feeling that you get when you're happy and it, and you remind, and it, and it reminds you of them. And I know there's no cards in here that is talking about memories and things like that. And the only thing I really could go off of anything past related would be the higher rank because it talks about traditions in the sense of practicing old stuff that has been carried down from generation to generation. Now, the situation I'm also getting here is the big time. I feel like for a lot of you guys, I feel like for a lot of you guys, and I'm channeling a lot of this too, this is talking about a, a relationship with two people that are not technically the same. Now, if we could talk about religion, we could talk about race, we could talk about age, right? And I feel like the age thing is the part that is really been an issue. I feel like that's why you guys have been trying to remain single because perhaps the person you want is older and that it's, you know, maybe you feel like this person's out of your league or you're out of, and, or they're out of yours or only based off of appearances, traditions, societal norms, etc. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you may have felt like if for a lot of you guys, you may be the younger one or for some of you guys, you may be the older. Either way, there is some sort of age dynamic that's a play, is coming to play here, but it's coming to an end here because that world. I feel like there's something that's definitely changed with this situ with this choice that you've made, um, with the understanding of the relationship and the the dynamics of race, religion, age, etc. I feel like there was something I understood, and I feel like the emotions have never changed through that because the King of Cups, whether this is somebody that's older, younger, or the same, you know, older, younger, the same age, whatever. This the person's feelings is going to feel the same. His, his emotions don't, you know, are not impacted by what people think. So the Knight of Wands looks like this is, yes, travel. It looks like this is somebody that's dealing with a, a different age group or something like that. You know, somebody feels like they're dealing with somebody that's not a part of their typical norm or outside of their traditional picks or traditional, you know, you know, the, the traditional type. And this is why the Two of Pentacles comes up in the future. Perhaps somebody has to make a decision about what exactly they're going to do. But they know. You know what to do. Because the situation is, the, you know, is the Two of Pentacles. Everything goes back to knowing what you feel and knowing what you want to feel. What do you want to feel? Therefore, your Two of Pentacles will be easier to find it out or figure it out. And I feel like there's, a, yeah, the keeping of the balance and stuff like that. But I feel like for some of you guys, it's like... It's like, you don't really know if it's worth the pursuing portion of it, you know? It's very interesting reading so far. Because the King of Cups is standing right in between both of these individuals. So both the King, the Knight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Some of you, I feel like this is an opportunity to explore your belief systems, to expand them. It's very sad energy. I'm picking up a lot of sad energy. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you guys were definitely doing that. Now, the King of Wands that's coming up in your underlying energy, which I want to talk about in, uh, for a little bit, is, is very intriguing because this is about action orientation, right? He's always doing something. He's always taking action. He's always, you know, putting his passions in. Well, he's always doing what he's passionate about. And the sense that this is an opportunity that is arising, a second chance and a second chance in which you have experience in already it's not like the the judgment card It's very you know hey you've gone through this already take advantage of this next opportunity here you learn from your experiences and I feel like that's what I'm saying like you guys have learned from your experiences here and I feel like focusing back to love is what you guys have learned so the decision that you guys come up with here though this projection of your future being the two of Pentacles looks like you're just gonna have you're just figuring out what it is that you you know are gonna do or you know which offer is more appealing to you I don't know if you're juggling two people though because the Knight of Wands can indicate that there's somebody here that has commitment issues Okay, the Hierophant coming up in the and the Knight of Wands can indicate you know uh, religion relationship issues. Someone that can't commit, or somebody has an issue with committing, or they have or they feel suffocated with commitment. And the Knight of Wands, he does not conform. That's what I was bringing up before. He does not conform. And when it comes to the Knight of, the King of Cups, I feel like the only way that the Knight of Cups would kind of conform is if he know if if this person was absolutely everything he wanted. Or everything she wanted. 
So your goal and ambition is the page of cups. So it's like you guys want to communicate, talk from the heart, have a heart to heart conversation with somebody. And I feel like this is also your advice as well to com communicate or to cultivate what you want or to, to really not really cultivate because I feel like you already know. I feel like this is you guys are just kind of actually expressing now what it is that you want or expressing your desires, expressing your feelings and your emotions. And your outcome is the nine of wands. Now, this is talking about a wall being put up and a wall that has been up for a while. And it can indicate that you've been through some stuff, you're exhausted, but I have this feeling that you haven't given up. They haven't given up. And the wall that you may have has a lot to do with perhaps your emotions and how you feel about things, which will probably come into play when you make your decision. Because I think the biggest way for you to make a decision about what to do with these pentacles is by knowing what it is that, you know, that you feel has the most value, what do you enjoy the most, what makes you feel good. And that will help you make the decision regarding which one of these has value. I know this reading is kind of all over the place, but only because this is a reading this all over the place. It's about finally taking action on what you want to do and uh, taking action on on this relationship that you guys have that with this king of cups perhaps. Someone that you are deeply in love with. Someone that you've dream dreamt of even. This is the king of cups. He's the ideal lover. And I feel like the nine of wands may have been the blockage to all of these things but now you're letting your guard down I feel with the nine of wands. Even though it was not saying that, it's saying that, hey, you have a wall up. Your outcome is saying that you're going to be more defensive. But I also feel like you're not going to let this kind of defeat you. I don't think you're going to let this, you know, this dynamic between you and this person defeat you. And I think it may be, that's why you guys are going to continue to fight forward and communicate. And all romance angels. Wedding as well. That's interesting. Uh, Sagittarius got wedding. So, all right, so we got by the book and wedding. Don't let, see, I was saying that. So I think this is a situation where someone's just hashing out the fact that there's some things that are not traditional in this relationship and they're gonna have to get over it. Either this person's older than you or you are older than them. The dynamic of the relationship is different in some degree and it's against a lot of the things that you grew up believing. Um, this person may be, you know, wanting to do something different with how they approach growth or whatever. But the situation is this, is that this dynamic between you two has not disappeared. It has not broken. And I feel like the situation is because no matter what society says, no matter what you grew up with, you have still the same feelings. Right? Out of all the things that are changing with the world, the King of Cups remains the same. And I feel like, I feel like with the Knight of Wands too, I feel like if this is a connection or relationship with a Sagittarius, um, which it doesn't have to be, this could be just literally with somebody, do you, you know, either with, you know, that's different in some way, shape or form, younger, like I said, this is totally against societal norms for you or societal norms, period, or against your family's wishes. Don't let people keep you in a box. If you're in love with somebody, then do, go for it. Go for what you want to go for, right? Go for what you feel is right for you. Because honestly, you're going to be the only person in here that's going to be living by other people's standards. You know, you're going to live by other people's standards. No. And by the book, it's saying just two cards that indicate the higher friend. And the, the biggest thing is, is that the King of Wands does what he wants to do without any sort of approval from anyone. Because he don't give a fuck. He don't care. He knows that he, he will just, he'll just do it. If he loves it, if he wants to do it, his, it's done. And I feel like this is the same situation with this. For some of you guys with this with this with this situation coming up here, the reason why you had to weigh the pros and cons is like, what is it worth? To, what is the value of going after your heart's desire? What is the value of you know you know betraying a lot of your you know your traditions? And it's like, well, simple. Do you want to live in a place of happiness? Do you really want to continue to live by someone else's code? You got to come up with your own code. Right? Look at these elephants. They're walking in one by one. And typically, the by the book is saying, just stick within the tradition. Don't do anything outside of the, the norm. Stay in the in the situation. But I have a feeling that this is talking about going outside of the box. 
doing something that's outside the box. Do you see the Knight of Wands doing anything outside the box? Fuck no. Or doing anything anything inside the box, rather. Staying within the whole, you know, box thing. No, he does not. And I feel like... I feel like this whole thing coming up is like... Yeah, just... Do something different. Do you Follow your heart. That's the biggest thing. Follow your heart. Make your own policy. Make your own religion. Some of you guys is maybe that you have a commitment issues because you're afraid to lose your freedom. And that's a hard one. You have to kind of trust yourself. But if you want something, but you want to not be attached to it, you can't have both. And I feel like that's why you have two cards in here that indicate, you know, that are very close to the commitment here. This is the commitment card for as far as the higher friend goes, and this is the conform card. And the commitment part is just committing to someone. Commit, commit, commit. And I feel like here's the thing, though. It's like, it's weird. It's like saying, don't go in, don't, you know, don't let society just, you know, decide for you who you date and who you don't. You know, you know, live, live free, be open, you know, all that craziness. Don't conform to other people's stuff. But then at the same time, it's saying to conform and to commit to someone because you are in love. You know who you love. Go for it. You know. I feel like that's the thing. It's like some things are coming up in here that's saying to commit to someone, but don't let, you know, society dictate who you conform to or who you commit to, who you want to be with. If you have been the person that has the commitment issues, you got to figure out why. Because ultimately, you know you're in love with somebody. You know? That's Nine of Wands could be that you're in love, but you're afraid. Or you're defensive because you don't want to dis you don't want to lose the control that you've got of your own life. <laughs> 